everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about Kuri. So you may be confused as to what Kuri actually means and it comes from an old Scots word which basically means to nestle or to snuggle. But it's a lot more than just sitting under a cosy blanket by the fire and yeah, it's kind of a bigger concept than that, as great as that sounds. And that is very much a part of Kuri as well. But it's not only about staying in the comfort of our home and being cosy in the winter, it's also about getting outdoors and embracing the beauty of what Scotland has to offer. And this, while it is tailored to living in Scotland, this could absolutely be applied to wherever you live. So it's really just focusing on slowing down and getting in touch with what's around us and appreciating the small things really. So yeah, getting out into nature is a really great way to embrace Koori and a big part of this is, you know, going out into the weather, whatever that might be, into, you know, the wind, the rain, the cold, and then coming back to the comfort of the home. That really is, in essence, what Koori is about. It's that kind of, you know, feeling you get from having been out into the brisk weather and then you know that cozy feeling when you come home But this wellness concept could also include things like shopping locally and seasonally, cooking with yeah, local seasonal produce. That's a really great way to sort of connect to the culture and to sort of live by the seasons a bit more.
about whatever it is that interests you lock swimming I don't know or you know you just want a nice calm walk which is probably more my style um, or sea swimming or any of that and then you afterwards could sort of cozy up with a nice hot drink in a local cafe and again that's kind of in essence what it's about it's that feeling you get and that sense of well-being from simple pleasures and there's really not a lot more to it than that I don't want to overcomplicate it um, but yeah really just about getting in touch with what we have right here So one of my favourite ways to embrace curry is to get out on walks. Um, Scotland has a lot to offer in terms of, you know, all the coastline, um, the vast amount of woodlands. So I feel very lucky from that perspective that I have all that on my doorstep. I will take with me a good rucksack and then some very basic supplies. So. One really, one of my favourite things is taking like a really hearty warming soup that is really good fuel when, you know, you've been out in the cold and you just want to pick me up something to feel really warming and you get that nice feeling um, definitely once you've been out in the cold. So a soup flask is a great thing to have. Also a reusable water bottle um, which obviously saves on plastic. Here in Scotland we are very prone to lots of showers um, so always having like a rain jacket um, in the winter probably something a lot thicker, plenty of layers so a decent pair of gloves will not go amiss and I would say that's an essential. So yeah, a really nice thick pair of gloves for winter walking so you can stay nice and cosy. Um, definitely thick socks as well. I feel like this is not about buying stuff and having equipment. It's really just about using what you already have. So I don't think it's something you need to spend money on. It's just kind of a good idea to have, I would say, a decent pair of footwear if that's, you know, your thing you want to get out and get into nature and kind of explore that. I would say a good pair of like walking boots. Um, so just something decent that can get you through all different kinds of terrain basically. Of course, snacks are great to keep you going. 
especially you know you're doing hill climbs or anything like that you do need fuel to keep you going binoculars can be really great for the obvious um, there's so many birds here in Scotland and I think it's I've definitely gotten more interested in bird life since moving here and I think it's just you know there's such a vast range of habitats which means you get such a variety of different species um, so you know it's it's a pretty cool thing to have and you could even pick up like a pretty cheap pair and just something else to add a bit more interest. I think it's really nice to have like just a little guide with you so whilst you're out on walks you can also be learning about the wildlife as well as enjoying it. So yeah, as well as like wildlife guides, um, sort of trail guides are quite good to have as well. Help you find some new walks and some new places to explore. So again, a lot of these you can pick up for free anyway, so that doesn't have to be a thing to pay for basically. when it's not nice weather in the winter as well it's hard to motivate yourself to go out but especially if you can have these comforts as kind of a reward to look forward to it does kind of um, give you more of an incentive to want to do it and it always feels better once you've you know it always feels great once you've been out so yeah a few little comforts complement it I think is a really nice way to enjoy so yeah, that's how I like to enjoy Koori in the winter months. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.